Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Baba Sukara. So we are going to discuss another <coughs> a couple of cases where NHRC interfered. So the first incident is relating to the firing by the security forces in Bizubera or Bizbehera in Jammu and Kashmir. Of course, long back it is in the uh, maybe 96 or so. So now you know Kashmir has become a two. One is a state and the second is union territory. Right. NHRC took up the matter. Sumoto. What is Sumoto? By itself. So by seeing a press clipping, they have taken up the issue regarding the death of 60 persons as a result of the firing by the security forces. They called for the report from the Defence Ministry. You are doing Section 19 deals with the armed forces. So they have called for the report from the Defence Ministry as well as the government of Jammu and Kashmir. As usual, the Defence Department or Defence Ministry reported that there is no involvement of the army in the deaths of 60 persons. A report was also sent uh, to the commission by the Home Ministry. Of course, basing on the inquiry conducted with armed forces only, they will give. But having found the report to be deficient, they have once again returned it back, once again got the original report, uh, got the full-fledged report, basing on which the recommendations. Now, these are the important thing you have to know. What he has recommended, number one, disciplinary proceedings should be taken against BSF on 14 personnel, 14 officers of the BSF, they are responsible. Second, interim compensation or interim relief should be paid. Then they also advise the government, review by the government. So regarding the conditions in which BSF forces are deployed and how they are supposed to operate in, situate, in situations which involve by civilian population. That's why, please remember, whenever the paramilitary forces or whenever the armed forces come to tackle the situation at the ground level, they will be directed to act under the concerned superintendent of police. Otherwise, they will go berserk, they will open fire, they don't care. They will hear only their commandant's word. Otherwise, they don't hear. So therefore, they have to be given instructions uh, that they should uh, follow the instructions of the local police. Otherwise, uh, they will be opening fire because they do not have connections with the public. They don't know how to deal with the public. Suppose if they are real civil police, definitely they know how to deal with the people. Right. Second, this is an important incident. Uh, prosecution of Chekma refugees. Hajang and Chekma refugees. So you may be knowing these uh, Chekma people actually they have been migrating from Burma, migrating from the neighboring Bangladesh. So many Hajangs and Chekmas, they are refugees. So actually the NHRC received a report from Amnesty International. Of course, now it has closed its office in India, Amnesty International and also People's Union for civil liberties, PUCL is an important organization which tries to protect the human rights. So they reported to the NHRC that the Hajam and Chekma refugees, they were harassed, being harassed and threatened by the local police. Normally, when they fled from East Pakistan, they were initially welcomed. And I can say the politicians, they were responsible for this. They gave given them the ID cards, water cards also. But later, since their number has been outnumbering, they have been outnumbering the local police. So therefore, the local people, the local people actually, they have got, uh, they have developed a sense of, uh, actually, uh, they actually they wanted to drive them out because they are uh, dominating in this area. So actually, in that connection, the states also supported the local people, just like OPSU, all of some Parishad students, Indian, things like that. At the time, it happened. But, and the matter was brought before the Supreme Court by NHRC. Please remember, actually, NHRC directed the state, please remember, to take effective steps for the protection of these refugees, because refugees also got uh, their own rights. So when the time comes, I will discuss about the refugees' rights also. Right? So the state government is uh, protracting the delay tactics or protracting the delay, right, to take the 
effective steps. Therefore, they approached the Supreme Court. NHRC approached the Supreme Court and Supreme Court ordered that right to life and right to property of the refugees, they have to be protected. Right? This is also a very good decision, which NHRC filed before the Supreme Court and definitely it has gone seen the result also. The third, it is also human right, starvation deaths in Odisha. Three districts, Koraput, Bolangir and Kalahandi in Orissa, due to the starvation, many people died. Oh, what does Article 21 say? The right to life and liberty. The state has to protect the life and liberty. Life here, due to the starvation deaths, life has gone. So therefore, the NHRC took cognizance of the situation and sent a team to analyze the situation and give a report. So a special rapporteur was also appointed to oversee and monitor the relief and rehabilitation work in the so-called affected districts like Kalahandi. Right? The committee made a series of series of short-term and long-term recommendations uh, to address this issue. So the state government was asked to strengthen emergency feeding and ensure enough staff and adequate food stack was available. You may be knowing very recently there was a cyclone in East Godavari, particularly in Amalapuram area. So the Lankas, Gudikai Lanka, Gudivan Lanka, Bodhuwan Lanka, they are totally badly affected. At the same time, the uh, so-called uh, the animals they were uh, starved for uh, food. That is, uh, even uh, the so-called grass is not uh, dry grass is not available for them. So, such conditions definitely it is also a right to live. So, they ask the government to make available the food stock for the proper distribution, and they also advised the state to review the existing PDS, public distribution system. So, the situation of the two wells or bore wells, because they have to go and get the drinking water, already two wells were already filled up with the mud. So, please remember, the commission reviewed the progress made by the state in remedying the situation. So, these are the important incidents where the NHRC took interest and they took place. So, we will give, if possible, if possible, I will make another video on the intervention of the NHRC in protecting the human rights of the people. Thank you very much.